The rooster and the mortar are the most precious treasures of the old man and the old woman. Let's go into the story to see how they became the precious treasures of the old man and the old woman. A Rooster and a Mortar Once upon a time there lived a poor old man and an old woman. They used to eat acorns that they gathered up in the forest because they didn't have anything else to eat. Oh, there remain only a few acorns in the forest now. Don't worry, honey. If we eat them little by little, we can survive this winter. While the old woman was carrying acorns peeled off by her husband, she dropped one of them into the hole of the wooden floor. Heavens! The acorns fallen into the hole! The old man and woman looked into the hole to pick the acorn up. Then what happened? In the very short time, they saw a bud coming out of the fallen acorn. Look! It's quite a strange acorn. It has already sprouted. Honey, this bud will grow to be a big oak tree and bear lots of acorns, won't it? Then you don't need to go to the forest to pick up acorns. The oak tree grew well. As soon as the old man stripped off the floor and the roof for the tree, it grew out through the floor and the roof to the sky. The oak tree now has grown full. Tomorrow I will climb up the tree to pick up acorns. The next morning, the old man climbed up the tree carrying a sack on his shoulder. Oh, it has a good view from the sky. Then, what's that? The old man who tried to pick acorns found that something strange was coming from between distant clouds. The old man went nearer, treading on the clouds. There he found a rooster and a mortar used for pounding grains. A rooster with a golden crest and a blue border. My wife will be glad if I bring them. The old man came home with the rooster and the mortar. The old woman marveled at the mortar, touching it here and there. Honey, what shall we pound with it? Well, I'll pound. When the old woman pounded on the mortar, something amazing happened. From the empty mortar, Pancakes and buns poured out. Honey, look here! Pancakes and buns! <laughs> we don't have to worry about food anymore! One day, a rich man came to the old couple's house. He had lost his way while hunting. I came here following a light after I'd wandered around in the forest. Give me something to eat because I'm so hungry. Please come in, sir. Wait for a moment while I make our food with this mortar. As soon as the old woman pounded on the mortar, a lot of pancakes and buns poured out. Wow! How could they get such a wonderful thing? 
The rich man wanted to have the mortar, so he asked the old couple to sell him the mortar, giving them gold coins. This mortar is a precious treasure which gives us food. Sorry, but we can't sell it, sir. Hmm, is it? You'll have to pay for this. That night, the rich man took the mortar and slipped away. The old man and the old woman were very sad when they found the mortar was stolen. Grandpa! Grandma! Don't worry! I will find your lost mortar! The next day, the rooster flew to the rich man's house. He perched on the fence and shouted, <laughs> ah, Gentlemen, give back our precious treasure, the blue mortar. <laughs> ah! When the rooster crowed, the rich man was so angry that he ordered to his servant, Throw that noisy rooster down into the well. <laughs> the rooster was dropped into the well. However, he drank up all the water in the well. Getting out of the well, the rooster went forward to the rich man. <laughs> Sir, give back our precious treasure, the blue water. <laughs> Throw that noisy thing into the stove. The servant caught the rooster and threw him into the stove. Small beak! Small beak! Pour the water out! As soon as the rooster said the magic words, the water that he drank from the well gushed out through his beak. The stove fire died out right away. The rooster got away from the stove and went to the rich man, who was giving a banquet to his guests. <laughs> Give back our precious treasure, the blue mortar! <laughs> when the rooster crowed, the guests ran out since it was so noisy. Oh no! This bad fellow. Hey, friends! Where are you going? Oh my goodness! The rich man followed his friends in haste and dropped the mortar. At the very moment, the rooster snatched the mortar and flew to his house with it. <coughs> Grandpa! Grandma! When the rooster flew to the house carrying the mortar, the old man and the old woman were so happy. Ah, what a delight! Our rooster brought back the mortar. Rooster, thank you! The rooster and the mortar must be the presents God gave for the old man and woman who were poor but good-hearted. <laughs>